As you may or may not be able to tell, I felt that due to the weather's current upswing, I should get my ears lowered. Is that an antiquated colloquialism? Maybe I should de-euphemize. I got my hairs cut. Feel free to tell me how good I look in the doobly-doo. If your drool shorted out your keyboard and you're unable to comment on my de shagification that's totally understandable. So apparently nobody gets anything done without proper incentive, evidenced by the fact that I have received exactly zero submissions for a new background to my channel. So here's your incentive, butt kickers. One week of compliments, just like Mike got for my intro. Now get to making those backgrounds. Comment time! Inscure Chicken, in reference to yesterday's video, writes, Haha, was this hard to do? Because that seemed hard to do. It wasn't so much hard to do, I see, as it was time consuming. I mean, driving back and forth between school and home to get those shots was a real pain. And managing to make that hour and a quarter trip 17 times in the sunlit hours of a single day is a temporal mystery I'm still trying to figure out. Although my car is a DeLorean, so that might have something to do with it. Good afternoon, butt kickers. It's February 19, the 50th day of 2011. That's right, I am now roughly one-seventh of my way through 2011 with Griff. It's a fortunate coincidence of calendarific proportions that the 50th episode of It's the Program lands on my half-birthday. Around what age do you think fractions of years cease to matter for children? I mean, I can recall if someone asked how old I was between the days of February 19 and August 19, I would tell them I was such and such and a half years old. Maybe you stop caring about half years around the same time you can no longer represent your age in held up fingers. If I tried doing that now, I'd have to hold up both hands, both feet, and some other 21st appendage. Like... But you know what? I'm okay with invoking my inner child, so I'm just gonna say it. Happy 21st and a half birthday to me. So coming home this weekend may not have been the best idea because my house is currently like a petri dish full of the grip. Or for those of you not currently living in 18th century Europe, influenza. My mom had it, my dad just had it, my brother's having it. So as soon as this video is over, I'm going to go glaze my entire body in Germex hand sanitizer. That way I can be virus-free and lemony fresh. Germex hand sanitizer. Because you're too important to waste 20 seconds washing your hands. Germex hand sanitizer. Sure, your hands still smell kind of like poop, but at least you can safely assume that they're clean. Germex hand sanitizer. Squirt, squirt. That'll do just fine. Today is also the 133rd anniversary of the patent of the phonograph. Who needs MP3 players the size of Tic Tacs when you can experience the hugely non-portable pops and hisses of original classic vinyl records? It's the only way I listen to music. Pretend this is an unfiltered cigarette upon which I'm dragging aloofly. The only upside to vinyl records I can see is that you can smash them dramatically, and they shatter spectacularly into scalene shrapnel. My brother and I made a game out of throwing records. We called it Laceration Frisbee. The person requiring the most stitches would lose. I would often win, so here's hoping my brother doesn't harbor any grudges and infects me with influenza. You know, just to be safe, I better get to the body glazing. So until tomorrow, I'm Griff, and I'm still talking. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh, that's the stuff.